Awful joke alert. Why did the wave say goodbye to the beach? Because the seaweed. Now, anyone who has grown any plants, crops of any description will almost certainly at some point have come across seaweed and all the benefits that it has for the plants that you grow. But what about the soil? Does it actually have any beneficial effects on the soil? Well, that is the topic for today's video, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so in this video we're going to talk seaweed. Does it have any beneficial effects on the soil and specifically the soil organisms? But before we get into that, this week, in the run up to this video, has actually marked an important milestone for the channel, which I set up a few months back. We've actually reached our first 100 subscribers. So thank you ever so much to everyone who supported the channel. It means a lot and I look forward to welcoming many more of you as well. Now this isn't going to be so much a deep dive on seaweed but more a shallow dip, a quick 101 on how seaweed might be beneficial for the soil. But anyone who's already used it will know about the direct benefits it has on plants and that's because seaweed is a fantastic tool. It sits in the sea bobbing about in a giant nutrient pool absorbing everything that passes over its leaf surfaces and this means its nutritional benefits are huge. It contains all sorts of nutrients, the major macro, the minor, even the micronutrients, the sorts of things that if you're growing crops, plants and foods, you want to be getting into what you are growing. Now also, seaweed contains many other biochemicals, things like auxins, chitin, growth promoting hormones. And that's often why it's used during early parts of the season, either as a foliar spray, it helps things like chlorophyll production, but also importantly, it helps stimulate root growth. But what about the benefits of seaweed as a soil conditioner? Well, I've broken this down into three key areas. The first of these, studies have indicated that the use of seaweed can stimulate and benefit microbial communities. And this can occur in as short a time as just a few days. How? Well, after application, seaweed creates certain improvements, certain changes within the root zone, and these in turn trigger biochemical reactions within the microorganisms. Now this is great directly for the plant, but also indirectly as well, because these biochemicals stimulate even more organisms, which in turn benefit the plant in the long run. So a really good seaweed could actually help with rebalancing your own soil communities, especially bacteria. So the second benefit relates to nutrients in the soil. And the same study that I mentioned with the microbial communities actually looked at the effects on the nutrient content within the rhizosphere of plants. And what it found was that after application of a fermented variety of seaweed, bladderwrack I think it is if you're in the UK, I'll put the scientific name on the screen, after a few days the total nitrogen levels begin to decline. However, the ammonium nitrogen and also the nitrate nitrogen levels began to increase. How is this so? Well, seaweeds are wonderful things, not just salty, smelly plants. They contain a variety of nutrients, as I've mentioned previously. Not just minor and micronutrients, but they also contain supplies of major nutrients, things like nitrogen. Now, this nitrogen is in just the right form to be stable and also feed all those hungry mouths in the soil plants and organisms alike. So my third reason relates to organic matter or specifically organic solids, something that seaweeds are abundant in. And these are different to the types of organic matter that you would find in your composts, manures, mulches, wood chip, things like that. And that's really important because diversity breeds diversity. If you can supply your soil with more different types of carbon, as I mentioned in other videos, 
then you're more likely to satisfy a different range or as extensive a range of organisms as you can. So this trial that I referenced was on maize. I'll leave a reference in the description below. But seaweeds have been studied on all sorts of other crops as well, like tomatoes. I looked up another study relating to, to tomatoes and actually the same effects were observed, albeit a different variety of seaweed was used and the time to observe effects seem to be significantly longer. So that's something to be mindful of when determining if a seaweed product works or not. It will depend on the type of seaweed used, the production method, which can have a bearing on the quality and things such as the dissolved organic solids that I've just mentioned. And also there'll be other factors at play as well. What crop plant you're testing it on, as well as all the usual suspects such as soil pH, texture, moisture content, even soil temperature will have an effect on the time frame to see observable changes from an application of seaweed. So there we go, that was a quick dip into seaweed. I don't wanna to get too bogged down into the various details, others have covered this, and if it's something you're really interested in, I would suggest go and do some research of your own. But did you find it useful? Do you have any experience with seaweed as well? If you do, leave me a comment below. Also, if you'd like me to talk about other products or amendments, shout out, let me know too. So that wraps this video up. Until the next time, I'll see you soon.